What's up everyone, Zeph Films here. This is a follow-up video about the uh, the new reputation system that's coming in. Uh, and by new reputation system, I mean it's being expanded out to tier 6. Uh, so we're going to look at some of the things that have changed and how to do a couple of things. Because I was actually confused there for a couple of days and I just figured it out. Uh, so here we are. Uh, the reputation system is in on Tribble. Uh, you can see right off the bat um, that we used to have a select active project and then queue up another one right behind it to autofill uh, once you collected the rewards off of one. And now we can't do that. Uh, I'm not too sure why they did that, but it is what it is. <laughs> so at the top you see, so what confused me is the lack of progression bar. And originally what was going through my head is, okay, maybe it's click info to learn more about this reputation. Uh, so you see the points, uh, how many points you've, uh, or skill points you've um, accumulated so far for this reputation here at the top, which is 112,505. So I thought it was under info, uh, but under info is just a bunch of different um, uh, dialogue things. So if we look at what is Gamma Task Force, uh, the Gamma Task Force represents a coalition of forces formed to curb new threat pouring out of the Gamma Quadrant. Uh, so it's just a little explanation of what it is. Uh, what are some of the equipment rewards and the reputation? Uh, below are some of the ground equipment reputation earnable through. Um, so you can take a look at what you can get through ground or space. So there's the Gamma uh, ground armor on the shield. Uh, the gun, and then it tells you equipping two or more of these items from the above set will provide a powerful set bonus, obtain all three. Um, so it doesn't tell you the exact um, specs there, but we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, and then you can click on space and it'll show you what space gear uh, you can get through this reputation. Uh, go back, where can I earn gamma marks? You can You can earn gamma marks by completing uh, the swarm uh, participating in sector space battle zone and then the it tells you where you can get the fragments uh, so completing the swarm on advanced or elite uh, participating in the sector space battle zone a chance from opening gamma task force requisition packs which are the things that you get from uh, filling up all three of these and gamma task force upgrade uh, projects uh, the projects are just in case you didn't know um, are down here you go down to upgrades and you can trade in if I could just find the project down here uh, germanium uh, fragments so you can select that project uh, that has a 20 hour cooldown but you can trade in 100 gamma marks and get one of these so if you're having a hard time with doing the elite or advanced uh, then you can do the normal and grind out your 100 marks per day and you can do this project and in five days you can get um, enough or I can't remember how many each project needs to get let's look really quick so to get this yeah so you need five so for the three piece you need 15 so 15 days you can get what you need uh, without going into advanced or elite uh, how do I complete the reputation faster sponsorship? Uh, when you've reached tier 5 in a reputation, that reputation will become sponsored automatically for all your characters on your account. Uh, sponsorship means that you will gain twice as much experience for completing daily and hourly projects. This makes it faster to complete. So this is one thing that we talked about in the previous video, that uh, if you have a character on your account that has completed uh, tier 5, of the reputation then it will automatically be sponsored on all of your accounts meaning you will get uh, so for the daily you are getting 2500 uh, XP uh, per day now you're getting 5000 so that's uh, before you used to have to craft sponsorship tokens uh, so this is really just more of a quality of life um, improvement and like the sponsorship tokens were only a hundred marks, but that's a hundred marks that you can pretty much save now. All right, so so info. I went looking into info for the progression bar, wasn't there. Uh, then you got your store button, 
Uh, this is pretty much self-explanatory. I believe this used to be a tab in here, but now it's its own separate um, button. But to find out, to see your progression bar, this window here, click on it. <laughs> so on all of your reps, if you click on the top, uh, top uh, photo for each rep, that's how you get to the progression window. So you see here we're at tier five, uh, working our way slowly to tier six. Uh, tier six is unlocked at 250,000 reputation. So we get 5,000 a day. I don't want to do the math, but it's going to take a little bit while, a little while. Uh, but each, each window will show what you uh, unlock. Uh, so you can see here, captain traits for tier five, captain traits for, um, for tier four, et cetera, et cetera. Um, in tier six, we see uh, the rank two abilities. So these are all the abilities that you unlocked along the way. At tier six, you'll uh, you'll get a rank two. So let's take a look at so strength of mind. Let's see where that one unlocked originally. So strength of mind originally is a tier one ability. Uh, so it's uh, you get plus fifty willpower, pretty much straightforward. Uh, at tier six. You get plus 62.5 willpower. So I'm not going to go through each one, but there is a, a little bit of an increase uh, going from uh, rank one to rank two. Um, I, I'll have to actually like sit down and take a look at all of these uh, to really see if it's uh, if it's uh, really uh, like a significant uh, change. Um, I mean, every little bit counts. I, I don't do the DPS chasing myself anymore, but um, yeah, it's if you're trying to squeeze everything you can, then this might be something worth going for. Um, but then you see down here, tier six, new unlocks. Uh, completing this project will give you the following new options. So captain ability, rank two reputation passive abilities, and tier six unlock on uh, reputation flourish social zone ability. So you get, uh, I guess you get like a little something to show off that you finished tier six uh, and then some new uh, projects. So some uh, new weapons here, uh, reputation, vanity, shield, color, variant. Uh, one thing I need to see is if the vanity shield is the same color as the rep shield. Uh, if you've already figured this out, please let me know uh, down below because um, that's a lot that I have to go through on triple to get to tier six to show those off. And I, I have a lot of things to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, next, uh, claim an account wide gear discount for this reputation. Okay. Uh, claim a fleet module and claim a captain skill retrain token. Those, those, that right there, I've talked about this in the previous video, the fleet modules is worth getting. I mean, um, if you own the sea store ship, that one fleet module will uh, allow you to get the um, the fleet version of that ship. Uh, some of them you need four. I think there was one that needed five. Uh, somebody commented that on the other video, and I should have looked that up before I started doing this. But yeah, uh, on all the on all of the uh, reputations. So uh, here's another thing. So I know this this uh, refracting tetrion cascade from the Nikora. Um, um, reputation is something that I use on pretty much all of my builds. I just, I find it useful. Uh, so looking at the tier five version, that's when you would, uh, unlock it. It becomes a clickable. So it tax affects five foes, um, around 6,800 Tetrion damage to nearby targets, uh, then 4,300, then 3,400. The next one, the rank two of that, still five foes, but you're doing, for me, this is based on my numbers, so this these numbers may change from uh, build to build. Uh, so almost 7,000 Tetrion damage, uh, 5,400 to the second target in the chain, and 4,300 to the third target in the chain. So that's that's actually a pretty substantial increase. That's actually really cool. So uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to go through all this because I kind of want to keep this video short, sweet, to the point, but I wanted to show how you get to this progression bar. 
is when I first looked at it, it was already at the project section. Like I had to go in and claim, um, I think I started working on Lucari and all I saw was this daily screen. I'm like, well, how much further do I need to go until I get to uh, tier two? And I could not for the life of me, like I click, I was clicking on info and everything and I couldn't find it. And today, just by chance, I clicked on this. I'm like, oh, there it is. So if you're looking at the reputation system or uh, you're watching this and this is live on Holodeck now and you're watching one of my older videos because this popped up and recommended or you're searching for uh, reputation system stuff, this is how you get to the, uh, the progression bar and how to see what each, um, what each tier unlocks for you and uh, their specs for it. So that's going to be it for this follow-up video for the reputation. I really do hope you find this informative and you don't find my voice boring. <laughs> uh, I know this week is going to be a lot of talking videos, but I do have some more cinematics coming up that I'm working on. Uh, you just got to be a little bit patient. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this and found it informative, please hit the like button. If you're new here, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.